What's going on everybody? This is the King Hunter channel with another episode of Rival Kingdoms Asians Overview. And today is Eternal Yegumo, one of the new Asians that's going to be available really, really soon in the game. Um, this is a natural epic Asian. And it looks so cool. It looks so badass. That's, that's the first thing that I can tell you. Look at how cool it is. Alright, so let's get into action. Let's take a look to the different abilities of Yegumo. The first ability is called Gale Cut. It strikes a selected building and two random nearby targets for 63-64 damage. If an affected building falls within 10 seconds, it explodes outwards, dealing 42 to 43 damage to nearby structures and double to walls. 84 to 86. Are you kidding me? The storm is here. Wow. That is super cool. That's a completely, completely different uh, ability or spell compared with the rest of the Asians. Oh, this is awesome. All right, let's take a look to the second one. The second ability is called Snake Blood. Infuses trap with snake blood for 11.94 seconds, causing them to suffer 10% damage immediately, but gain 35% increased attack damage and 20% life steal. Wow! Wow! <laughs> and the, the name of the ability is perfect. Snake blood. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna actually damage our troops. But at the same time, they're going to gain 35% increased attack and also 20% lifesteal. I can do that trade. <laughs> I like that trade. I have no problem with that trade. Wow. Okay. Let's go to the last spell of Yegumo. And the last one is called Wind Vortex. Creates a large circular stone for 10 seconds that deals 113, uh, 115 damage to buildings along the edge. And grants 35% increased movement and attack speed to units inside. In addition, Gilgot will strike up to five times when it casts within the vortex. Wow, that is a really nasty combination. The wind vortex and Gilgot together, you can actually bring down a base in two seconds. Oh, <laughs> all right. Let's see the humor in action. You guys ready? Let's go. All right, let's go to the first battle with Yegumo. Alright, so this one, well, it's not that difficult. It's a stronghold level 6. We're just gonna deploy the units in front and see what happens. <laughs> Take it from there. Uh, we're gonna probably change. We're gonna put double soldiers, one paladin and two gardens. That would be nice. We can put talisman in here just to give me some extra mana. Probably not gonna need it, but still, we're gonna deploy our soldier, deploy our paladin, and here we go. We got the first Gale Cut, and we're gonna use Gale Cut in here. Ah, nice. So it start targeting also the damage in the other building, which in this case was the catapult. Oh, actually, that was pretty sweet. All right, Talisin, go to the other corner. I'm going to wait until we can have enough mana for the snake blood. Infuse troop with the snake blood for 11th. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. It's time to see this in action. It's time to see this snake blood in action. Oh, wow. And this guy is an increasing, <laughs> increasing attack speed. <laughs> Increasing attack with 35% and lifesteal. Wow, we were able to get all my troops back to normal in two seconds. All right, let's go with the last attack, which is the Vortex. Oh, look at the animation. This is that ridiculous or what? Wow. <laughs> oh, baby, that looks amazing. All right, we can use the Vortex one more time in there to finish. And that was the end of this battle. Super powerful, this dude. <laughs> <laughs> super, super powerful. Let's go to the next battle. All right, let's go. Battle number two, Yegumo. Let's put these guys in action one more time. Uh, well, shouldn't have any problem attacking this base, but you know what? We're going to attack from behind because I want to try and use the wind vortex one more time. All right, so we're going to put Talisman in there in position. Uh, we start getting attacked. Yes, we're going to get the soldiers. Let's put the paladin also. Probably put the... Gardens in this area, Gardens in here too. In a few more seconds, we're gonna have the Wind Vortex ready, so we're gonna use that one. Oh, this looks amazing! And now we can use the, the Gale Cut with extra damage. Look at that! Wow, how fast it's expanding! Snake, blood, and this base is going down in two seconds. This base is just getting destroyed. Unbelievable! How powerful is this Yagumo! Unbelievable! Wow, okay, this base is completely done, so we're just gonna end the battle, but we're gonna use the board just one more time because it looks super, super cool. Nice. All right, let's go to the next battle. 
All right, you good one. Last battle of the night. Uh, let's see how we're gonna attack this one. We shouldn't have any problem attacking from the bottom. No, at all. All right, so we're just gonna go uh, full force. We're just gonna go full force. Whatever happened, happened. There you go. Cami, Cassie, Yolo, whatever you wanna call it, and here we go. <laughs> Talos, you can go to the other corner. Thank you. We can use the kill cut in a few seconds. Kill cut, you can go there. Perfect. Gelkal over there, one more time, doing damage to the buildings. Wow, this is actually working really, really well. And I can see myself using uh, the dragons and the Gelkal a lot. A lot together. Look at that vortex, it's just ridiculous. And again, if you combine that with Gelkal... <laughs> game over, man! Game over! <laughs> Fellas, that was a really quick overview of the Yugumo. One of the new... Asians that's gonna be available in Rival Kingdoms really soon. And um, actually stay tuned to my channel because I got some more surprises. <laughs> this is the Game Hunter signing off. I'll see you in the next one. Take care everybody.